Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today, working on the 70 Chevy truck again. Um, today, uh, gonna be probably a little controversial um, addition to this truck. Uh, a lot of people aren't gonna like this. The purist ain't gonna like this, um, the headlight mod. But I am kind of a, a lighting guy. I love, I love new lights and I love LED lights and I love the, the new technology of lights. So I'm gonna upgrade these lights. They are just headlights, so they unbolt pretty easily and you can go back to the stock junk factory ones. So it's not like a major mod that can't be undone. So if you're getting all excited about this mod, just relax, it's not a major mod. But it's something that um, I do enjoy when I do my trucks. Probably the only modern thing that's gonna happen to this truck are these headlights. But anyway, I found these on um, Amazon, I believe. I'll, I'll link it wherever I found them. And they have a, um, a halo around them. They actually have, they have a, a white one and an amber one. And you use the, well, they want you to use the white as a daytime running light. And then the amber is a turn signal. I'm probably just going to use, I haven't decided yet, either the white or the amber for like a running light. Thought about using the amber as a parking light, may do that later on. I'm just going to get myself a, um, kind of like a daytime running light, um, for now anyway. But you can see I've already got them installed. The reason that is done because I had one that ain't working. Uh, I had to contact the company, but I was in the middle of the job, so I kind of had to finish it. Not a big deal. These are headlights. They they uh, have a trim ring that holds them on. Uh, you got to pull uh, this piece off right here, four screws. Then you got a trim ring, uh, three screws. Headlight comes out, unplug it. Um, the only thing I had to do is I did have to trim some of the bucket in the back. Um, for clearance for the for the wires and I'll show you that when I replace this one because this is the bad one that don't work okay here's the headlight I'm on the bench right now because I'm going to light it up for you um, we've got uh, this one here uh, which is the white halo and then we've got the amber halo so pretty neat pretty darn bright too um, I, I wasn't expecting them to be that bright, but it's, it's, they're pretty bright. I'll show it to you on the truck too, but I just want, wanted to do it on the bench here. And to give you a closer look at these. Uh, they are uh, DOT, SAE approved. Um, you can see the back side here. Um, they look like pretty darn nice lights. They, they feel heavy. Uh, there's the, the cord coming out the back. I'm not sure why they don't run the cord out the center of the light. Then you wouldn't have to modify the bucket to get these to go in. But for some reason they run them off to the side and that causes a problem. So let's get this one in.
Okay, so if you want your halos to work, you gotta you gotta run wires to these uh, um, red wire and green wire. Um, the red wire is the white, I believe. The other one is, like I said, they want you to use it for a turn signal. Um, but I've run my own wire, and I got a connector that'll plug into that little spade connector. Um, actually went uh, followed the factory headlight harness. I believe that's what it is in there, and I tied into the uh, fuse box under the dash there. Uh, found a, a 12 volt when the when the switch is turned on. So when the when the switch is on, these these lights will be on all the time. So I'm gonna tuck this back there. Gonna get my light in there. Trim ring back on, and I'll show you what, what it looks like. Okay, so I almost forgot to show you the cutout uh, right there in the bucket. So you can uh, run your cord through. Again, I don't know why they don't center it on the light. Then all you have to do is plug it in. You wouldn't have to modify any buckets. I don't understand that, but anyway, just a little trim right here. Uh, same spot on each. Uh, bucket so the headlights are basically the same Okay, so a quick shot of the um, The actual headlights The actual headlights are LED as well This is low beam uh, when you turn the high beam on that lower projector uh, comes on to So I haven't really done any um, night driving uh, with the truck guys, but yeah. I like it and I think it's going to be a big improvement for um, any nighttime driving that gets done with this truck. Way better, I'm sure, than the halogen. So there it is. Um, camera's picking it up. It's kind of uh, brighter than it really is. I mean, they're bright, but they're not showing up like that in real life. You can definitely tell uh, there's a ring around it. It's not just a blur of white light. But I like it guys. Like I said, this is gonna make some people uh, upset. And I really don't know why it's not their vehicle. I don't know why they get upset over some new technology um, going in a vehicle, there's people uh, putting um, LS engines in these, uh, there's really no difference to me. Um, adding new technology is adding new technology. Uh, people are adding fuel injection. Uh, fuel injection is new technology. No, you can't see it, but it's still new technology. Um, I like it. I may play with this. I may swap this over to the amber running all the time, or I may end up doing what I kind of planned on doing was the amber is going to come on uh, when the parking lights come on. Uh, we'll see about that. But anyway guys, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed it and I'll see you.